Hey, I'm Alexa and I've been in college at the Georgia Institute of Technology for seven weeks now. It's been real and I'm going to show you how I organize my life, including course notes, assignments, and internships, literally my whole life with this handy software called Obsidian. Obsidian is a markdown note-taking application. Markdown is a way of formatting text, kind of like HTML and LaTeX or LaTeX if you heard of those. It's very lightweight, meaning it's easy to format notes quickly, which is why it's so good for just quickly jotting down some notes. Obsidian is just an application that makes these markdown notes look pretty and has a few extra features that we'll talk about. The main features include templates, daily notes, searching, and I guess the graph view, which is cool, but I barely use it. Let's talk about how I organize my class notes. I have a templates folder that contains a class template. This is so I don't have to waste time writing a title heading or a date for each lecture. This class template is pretty minimal because it's meant to be used as a general template for all classes, but you can definitely make templates for specific classes if you feel the need to. I have this big folder with all the things related to Georgia Tech inside. Then I have a classes folder which contains more folders with the names of the courses. I like to think that the organization of the class reflects the organization of these folders. For instance, my linear algebra class is very much driven by chapters and sections, so you'll see chapters as folders and sections as files. On the other hand, my CS class is organized by topic, so you'll see topic folders. Specifically for my CS classes, I use the code blocks built into Markdown, which allows me to format the code nicely when I define the language I'm using. I really wanted to be able to have a way to visualize all my assignments, due dates, in Obsidian, and I figured out that there wasn't really a good way to do this just using vanilla Obsidian. So I installed one of the many community plugins Obsidian offers. It's called Calendar, and it basically adds a little window with a calendar to Obsidian. There's a ton of ways you can use the calendar with your notes, but the way I use it is to keep track of my daily to-dos as well as upcoming exams, assignments, or events. I have it set to create a daily note using a template I've defined when I click on a date. Then I'm able to add checkboxes for my assignments and stuff, and it's interactive. Then it displays on the calendar and I can easily access it. This is actually the only plugin I use with Obsidian and so far I'm extremely happy with it because it prevents me from having to use another software like Google Calendar or Microsoft Outlook, which are low-key annoying. Next I'll talk about how I keep track of internships. I have an internship template that covers the job descriptions, locations, my progress on the application, and the final status. This helps me keep track of all the positions I applied to and the end result of them. I also add tags to these internships so it's easier to use the Obsidian search feature. I highly recommend backing up your files because Obsidian stores them locally on your computer and if your computer gets hit by a truck, your second brain is gone and that would be really sad. To back up my notes, I use GitHub because I'm a developer and you know, we use GitHub. I have a private repository for this, I just usually commit my notes every day or so. But all my notes are backed up to iCloud Drive as well. You can also use Google Drive to back up your files, or there's even an Obsidian paid plan called Sync that lets you store files on the cloud and encrypts them if you want to look into that. So far I feel that Obsidian has captured all of my note taking and scheduling needs except well diagramming or drawing but i'm sure there's plugins for that as well i'm glad i'm able to use this single software for most of my workflow rather than having to use another application like notion or trello because i feel especially with notion i feel there's a steeper learning curve thanks for watching make sure to leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe for more content